there i believe at some point any of us or uh, one of us has come across an investment club that is very successful and maybe you are one of part of one of the groups or maybe you are deciding to join one so in today's video i'm going to discuss how you can start and run a successful investment club or chama if you are in one it will give you tips on how you can make it more successful so the success of any investment group is the foundation and the foundation is what will determine the future of the group so this is what you're going to learn today and if you're new here my name is Sheila Arunga this is Sheila's world welcome on board if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing down below that is the only free investment that I'm giving you I don't charge here so the only place you can get this information without being charged this on this channel so kindly consider subscribing i know majority of you watch me but they don't subscribe i don't know why kindly that is the only way you're going to support the channel so let's get down to business how can you start a successful investment club first as i said the foundation is very important and what is the foundation foundation is the people that you come together with as a group you collaborate to meet a certain financial goal as a, a team so it's very important, number one, to choose people that have like minds, like like-minded people, people who reason together, people who you trust, people that you can think and make decisions together without anyone bringing in conflict. So that is the foundation, the kind of people you select to join your group. It's very important. It could be your colleagues, it could be your family members. But make sure that whoever you choose on board is someone who we have the same vision as you. So it's very important to run, to decide on who you put in your group. The second important thing that you're going to consider is you need a constitution. Constitution is basically the guidelines, the rules and regulation of the group for every member so that every member knows their role. That is the only way that will ensure the future of the group. You see, when you're setting a group, you don't want people who will come in tomorrow after one month, after they've received their share of contribution, they disappear without uh, contributing for other people. So you need to be very clear in your constitution. If possible, hire a professional legal advisor who can advise you on how to set up one. So you ensure that you incorporate your club in a legal entity. That's very important. Then another important thing is what are your financial goals as a group? That's one of the main reasons why you came together. So what are your goals? Is it, do you want to invest in real estate? Do you want just to raise money to have proper cash flow? Or do you want to invest in stocks? So that is very important. You need to set common financial goals as a group. And everyone should agree to that to avoid conflicts in the future. So once you have the laid down financial goals, you move into the next important part of the group, which is you need to define how much each of you is going to contribute. Since we have different capabilities, uh, financial capabilities, we can't define, like you can't put all of us as the same. There's someone who can afford contributing 100,000 shillings per month. Someone else cannot afford that. The all they can afford is 5,000 shillings so you need to come up with a plan whereby everyone is equal if it's five thousand let everyone be comfortable with that amount so that people don't drop off along the way because i work with chama or those investment clubs whereby i help them in investments in choosing the investment plan for their group and along the way we come across such people who they want to leave before even three months is over so you need to come up with a, an amount that everyone can contribute comfortably so that you have the same you meet your vision as a group so another important part that you need to consider is how are you going to invest your money and that is the point i was coming into and that's where i come in in most groups the investment groups that i work with the investment club that i work with once you've done your contribution maybe you've just started and now you've started your month why are you going to keep that money? Are you going to keep that money in the bank? No. Just find out how much is the interest that wherever, wherever you are keeping your money, how much interest are you getting? I know the most common 
place where uh, investment where people in groups do is the table banking that is in Kenyan chamas table banking is one of the ways of growing your money but it's not like a long term a solid one so you need somewhere where once the group has grown where will you be keeping that money and it continues earning interest so that's where i always help people when it comes to setting up money market funds See, money market funds is the only place that is risk free and money is accessible whenever the group needs it so in case you come across someone in the group who wants to leave it's very easy just to take the money they are share from the account and they are given then you can bring someone else on board or you continue with the group that is there so because of the liquidity aspect in the money market that's where most chama members open an account for their group so if you've not thought of an, any other place where you can invest maybe short term investments not long term you can think of money market funds and it's very simple to start one and that's why the uh, another point that comes in you need to have your company needs to be your group if if possible let it be registered into a limited company that will make things easy in terms of tax uh, like paying taxes and also just record keeping so as a group it's very simple because you have your signatories you have your treasurer so they the ones who open the account and also you still need to keep your bank account details because whenever you want your money it's sent back to your account the importance of having that money market account as a group is the fact that you earn more interest than what the banks offers so the interest in the money market is way higher higher than they mean the least like i know with my group the least they get is not less than eight percent after tax so it's much higher which i think the bank gives around six percent so if you have a group and you're keeping money in the bank please try and think reconsider and find out what other options where you can pack them because i believe with banks it's just a matter of it's because that's where you pack your money as you way to do major investments so it's very simple and along the way if you want to maybe diversify your investment maybe into real estate or something else it's very simple you just request the money to be sent to your account and then you continue the investment so uh, money market basically helps the group just to grow the money and to cover it from inflation so if you're in any group and uh, your money is in the bank please consider looking into money market funds there are so many in the country and i believe if if you don't if you don't know where to go you can still get in touch with me can assist so you after that. you've started your investment club or chama and it's running smoothly there are certain things that you need to consider for it to run uh, successfully so one of the important things that as a group you need to, to know that you need to have meetings regularly you can set either monthly or even quarterly meetings but it's very important because that's where you go and discuss and see the progress of the group and uh, different people bring in their different views on how the group is running so it's very important to have those meetings another point is you need to have keep your accounts records very well if possible employ an accountant or hire an accountant to do it for you record keeping is very important especially when it comes to long term because initially when the money is still in flu you might think it's not important but as the time goes it's very important to keep proper records another important thing to ensure the success of your group is ensure that you file tax annually the government will always be there to get their share so if you don't want to be on the wrong side of the government kindly consider filing your taxes annually you can still involve an accountant in that because I, I know not everyone is uh, any account <laughs> tax savvy they don't understand tax but you can still in, in, involve a professional under in that uh, sector of tax then also need to in, in, when it comes to investing involve a professional and that's why my group comes to me they ask how can we invest this money give us the best places where this you know this is not one person this is a group how can we advise so you need a professional to advise when it comes to investing then every year make sure you evaluate your performance as a group so performance evaluation takes place when you have those monthly or quarterly meetings so it's very important and that will ensure success and of i believe your group. you've learned something here thanks a lot for watching up to this point if you watch to this level i i thank you a lot and if you haven't subscribed i still remind you please do and if possible share with your friends in the in your investment clubs that you are in 
and I'm sure you're going to grow together. Thanks a lot and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.